Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Today we play an FA Cup semi-final, but the Portuguese version of that. And I'll update you on the league, which is going rather well due to one tactical tweak that has changed everything. Let's go. And welcome back indeed. We are flying along this season and things are going better than last time we are a b the board are relatively happy with me and you can see why so since the last game we came here for for salgueros and the sad team since then form was epic we won and we won and we won and i won't say all the ones because there's a lot there but then we lost and we lost and we lost and we drew and we lost and we lost and then we won and that's when i decided to change something because we got into january and things were poor december look at that for a month dreadful not many league games but still we were losing a lot of games so we got into january and i shifted this up for this game of family family Ciao, the family team we destroyed them and it was actually a half time i made the change if you look 68 minute onwards four bloody goals boys and girls destroyed them then porto came to town did really well but fitness just destroyed us in the last six minutes they scored two goals and one of those was an absolute world a free kick from silly distance then passes Freira 4-1 destroyed them then gil vicente destroyed them and gil vicente are actually a decent team they're kind of like a competitor to us in that little best of the rest competition if you will and then we've just drawn which is very disappointing to viz viz are a bit of a bogey team for us we can't seem to beat them but with those results the league is kind of looking i would say optimistic and i said at the start fourth that's eight four we're going to do okay. And we are. The three teams above us are the ones in the upper echelons. Befica, Porto, Sporting. Happy with that. Braga, I'd argue, they should be above us also. But I don't want them. Stay where you are, Braga. You're not coming above us. And then Gil Vicente. Vicente. The team I mentioned, they are in sixth. They're a decent team as well. So it's close. For us to finish in that European little mix, we're definitely in the conversation. But it's, it's a conversation still ongoing. Who's the conversation with? With me and, and you. What? We're the same person though. I'm going to take that all day long. Fourth in the league is really good. And if we take a look at the rules and where we finish, right at the top there, above my massively fat head, if we finish fourth, we're in the Euro Cup group stage. Straight into the mix. Big conversation. I take that. Fifth is when we have to go and play in North Wales and then we're off to the lower leagues of Greece. And then before we know, we play 39 games before August and we're all tired. So let's just get fourth. And we're all happy. So what is this tactical tweak I hear you talking? What have you done to change the fortunes, to get the goals banging? Well, it's only one little thing. And it's been so simple, honestly. It's just one roll in the middle of the park. We've gone for a box to box to a Mazala. Actually, I'm lying. Even now I'm looking. I've made two, but there was one final one. So do you remember Colin Dagbar? Well, he's he's crap. He He's like the big player. The only one I brought in, just dreadful. His rating just so bad like and he finished off with a 5.9 and a 5.9 and then i thought you know what mate this this isn't working he was on complete wing back attack i'm just going to give you your pretty much favored role so wing back on attack and i thought we'll just try it and he had three decent games a 7.5 a 7.1 followed up by 7.0 and his leg fell off his leg literally fell off you can't see let me move my head he's torn his knee off so his leg the knee region pretty much fell off so he's gone now but that was one of the roles that i shifted just to suit him wing back attack and because he was attacking less i thought well why don't i create a bit of an overload over here and get silver as a mazala attack coming forward and all my days, like that one little thing there, changed everything. And today's going to be a massive test. We are neutral venue against Porto. They just battered us 4-2, although it wasn't a battering. So we're going to go into this with the tactic, kind of full strength, although we've lost a few centre-backs through injuries and illness. Everybody's got a cold in Portugal. I'm feeling better. Do you remember I had a cold in episode two? I'm brilliant. Team are screwed. I think I might have passed it on to them. So let's get into that Porto game and see how we do. So the 11 we're running with for today. Varelin goes Mamin, Borevkovic and Fernandes at the back. Sadly, we've got Amaro, who's got, not exactly fit. He's been one of the guys with the cold. Midfield, Handel, Saar and Ferreira. Saar is a bit of a weak point at the moment. He's rocking a 6.62. Not the best. Ferreira, 6.85. To be fair, those positions a week i don't think it's the players i think it's the tactic that's something that's got to change silver in front of him rashina who's found his role there as a shadow striker
striker, loving it. Stupid Nans dropped to a false nine, but still scoring goals. And then Hercules, I'm just going to start him all the time. So we got to the end of December and I could register new players. Hercules wasn't even factored into that. He was like in the end of fours, not being able to play. So I brought him into the mix and, and he's loving life. He's doing really well. League game, two games, two goals, two starts, I should say. So I'm hoping he'll do okay today. But like I say, we've got up against Porto. It's going to be tough. Okay, game's underway and we're up against probably a 4 4 2. That's what they love playing for Porto. They're a really good team. Galeno, who was a really annoying player. Oh, well, that was a rather eccentric clearance, wasn't it? Just scored a worldie of a free kick in the previous game. So I'm hoping he doesn't turn up today. But. There's just talent everywhere. And Fernandez mops it up really well. And Hercules, the 17-year-old, who's got decent composure, is a nice little target man up there. I know he's playing advanced forward because of his physical presence. He does very good at bringing the game in. And look at it. A lot of the ball is going through him. And his movement is incredible. And we're coming forward really nicely. A stupid man. I think he was onside. No, 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 no. He was definitely onside. Hercules was offside. Hercules was offside. No, no, no. But he didn't touch the ball, though. Can we see that again, please, ref? Honest to God, now, we're looking at this guy beer, the ginger one. Yeah, obviously, he didn't touch the ball. God damn it! 30-minute highlight, and now it is Porto coming forward. I hate those balls, though, but we've done okay with it. Goalkeeper, eccentric, indeed. Mario, well done, sir. Stupid man's there. That's it, head down. Just take it forward. We've got boys coming forward. The Mazzalo on attack. He's coming forward nicely, but we've lost it. And Pepe, yes, that Pepe brings it clear. A nice play here from Porto. That's an easy ball. Ivan Ilsen dinks the keeper. God damn it. Two passes. That's all it takes, look. The quality was there. Tore us apart. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, highlights. 60 minutes gone. The one thing I would say about these tactics, th there are highlights. There are going to be goals galore. I just want them to be for us. Please, come on. Not again. S. Twakbio Evanilson hits the beans on toast. Oh my god, this is this is getting dangerous now. Right, we're coming forward. 23rd minute. Great ball. Hercules, put the ball in. It's there. Roshino. Back to Hercules. Oh, god damn it, you aggressive 17-year-old. Okay, forced into a change. Thomas Handel's had a little niggly injury, so he's come off and Almeida's come in, which isn't a good defensive option. So what I've done, I dropped the wing backs to support, and I've taken him from a defensive midfielder into a midfielder role. Don't know how that's going to work. Maybe more of a balance in the centre. We'll find out together as we go down. I was going to say 2-0, but we're coming forward and now they're going to come forward, surely, to make it 2-0. Martinez, Otavia, we're not closing down. Another just world-class stupid ball over the top and the crap striker heads it wide with his foot. Still 1-0. Oh, and the minutes ticked by there. Caught me off guard. It's half time. Let's take a look. Something's not working right here at all. You know I love a heat map, so let's jump into it. There's a big gap there. The central park there is not working well. Number two, which is our right back, he's very much isolated out there. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make him an inverted wing back on support to tuck him in a bit. Number 44. Hopefully that centre back then will push out a bit wider. And then in terms of the midfield trio there, that, that's changed anyway. The number eight has become a centre midfielder as opposed to a defensive midfielder shadow striker i want him a bit further forward okay second half underway i've made a few changes that might work out we're going to play it a bit more narrow go on make it 2-0 of course of course get in there good save good save let's make it 1-0 we're still in this game by the way he's a very good team Rashino does really well stupid man ball in. get the ball in that's not a penalty he should have just he's given the penalty but then he got a var we're going to get VAR, but I'm almost certain that was outside. Bloody hell! Stupid Nan, 53rd minute. Make it one all, son. Make it one all, son. Do it, son. You, go on! Yeah! <laughs> rebound! Shitty rebounds. I'll take that to the bank all day long. I think that's the first rebound I've ever had in Football Manager. Usually these go wide. Keeper saves it. Stupid Nan. Oh, delightful little Kung Fu kick. Hey, ah! Come on, one all. Okay, last change is made. Oh, keeper, let's break again. Come on, I've set this up nicely now to break. Bruno Varela. Oh, I'm out of breath here. Oh, it is a League Cup semi-final. What a terrible kick. You're on past the ball short, you nutter. Vitinha, Semedo. I've brought Lameras on. Hang on. Stupid, stupid, stupid man. Unlucky. Lameras has come on for Rosina. Forget it. Corner. Oh, and I'm... Um, who else has come on? Amaro's come on as well, the centre-back. We are pushing for this one. We're playing really well. 
Oh, they're going to break them, aren't they? This is game of counter-attacking. Look at my defenders. Throwing their heads on the line. Oh, 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 Thiago Silva. Unlucky. 20 minutes to go. And the tide is turning. 10 minutes left. Oh, no. Not like this. Otavio. Oh, my days. They've done it again. Every game I play against Porto, they score a world-class free kick. It's beyond... Look at them. They don't put, them, put me off as well. Running around. Oh, keeper, mate. Got to do better than that. It's 2 1. They're like a flock of birds flapping their arseholes around the place. Come on. Mbemba, lose the ball. Semedo, lose the ball. We're still in it. There's 10 minutes left here, plus a few minutes added on. But they're digging the ball around. Lovely. Oh, is he going to get years as well? Oh, Jesus Christ. Right. A couple of changes. Right. We are narrowing this pitch now. We want to get the ball through the centre. Come on. Don't lose like this. Four minutes left. There's a highlight. There's a highlight. March, clearly wasting time. Arsenal, win the ball. Berevkovic, that's it. Thiago, build it up from the back or just go long to the Herculean bastard. Come on! Yes! Our 17-year-old wonder kid. He's not a wonder kid, but he's my wonder kid. Two all in the 91st minute. Get in there. Thiago Silva, Almeida, that one pass through. Hercules. Come on, I love him. I bloody love him i'm never selling you clip that for a future episode insta highlight oh no we're still on very attacking let's drop it back to positive or can we win it don't say that almeida barovkovic don't lose it by there tiago stupid nan bruno hercules get it in there hercules oh no win it that's it no you stupid player you stupid stupid man oh no oh Stupid, stupid man. Get off the pitch. I don't care. Oh, no. <sighs> this game is cruel. So cruel. That's enough of that highlight. And that's it today. It's all over. Oh. oh that, that. That really hurt. That really hurt. Oh, we did okay. We did really okay. Wing backs. I need to sort them. They're not working. They're bonkers. They just don't work very well at all. And we've gone down to Porto in the semi-final. Just about. It's cruel. Two goals from them in the last nine minutes. We scored in the 90th minute. Ah, uh, unlucky. He's gone out with a damaged foot. We'll take your foot and do one. That was cruel, wasn't it? Jesus Christ. But I tell you what, let's... Let's lick our wounds off camera. We're going to come back for that Aruka game. We're away to those. They're in 17th, which is probably down the bottom somewhere. It is. Bottom but one. Let, let's go and destroy them 7-0 to make me feel better. Come on. Let's go. And it's game day against Aruka. But before we get into it, I've been promising you for ages. Part of this save, we're going to start investing in properties. We're going to start investing in businesses in the area to develop the city and me as a manager. And we've got our first business. So let's take a look at the first business we're throwing ourselves into. Now, bear with me on this one because it's, it's bonkers, okay? So we're on a lot of money in Guimaros and we've got money to burn. So I'm going to invest in this place and I don't even know what it is, right, as a business, but I'm, I'm going to turn it into a dog groomers. I Picture the scene, right? Groomers galore, like Portugal's a very affluent place, I think, anyway. There's a lot of animals there, I think, anyway. And I'd imagine a lot of those are like those cockapoos and poodles, I think, anyway. So I'm going to invest in this business. 550 euros a month. We're not going down to 500. Not many photos, but picture the scene. Let me talk you through this now, right? Let's start off here, okay, first of all. The customers come in, okay, where these plug points are on this strange blue wall. That's where we'll wash the animals and clean them and, and shave all their hair off. Lots of lights. There's far too many lights in the ceiling, but that will make them look a lot better. These weird shelves, shampoos, conditioners, nail clippings. We could sell dog clothes. Stinger, I know you would make millions for my business alone in dog clothes here. And these little cages at the back, clearly... 
This is where the animals will be kept with glass in front of them to showcase how beautiful they look after... I, I'm not going to be cutting their hair. I, I'll get somebody in to do that. Lights everywhere, glass on them. It, it'll be quite warm, probably, but look, there's air conditioning vents behind them to keep them cool. And then once they're done, there's a catwalk on top. Look, just, a, just above these little glass cages of emotion. When the customers turn up, I'll take them up the stairs. I won't take them up again. And then they'll walk over there to show off how beautiful they look. I, I could make millions from this business. I think is real good potential. Back there is where they get locked if they're naughty and they try and bite people. Again, another camera back there. Lots of cameras in this place. L lack of trust, maybe. And down here, again, more lights, more cameras again. And a fire extinguisher, just in case those cockapoos catch fire because they look so hot that is it that's the investment we've made our first business in guamaras 550 euros a month 105 meters squared i don't think this is all of that maybe behind that red door underneath the vent is a secret nightclub 105 meters squared seems rather big from this shoebox right here and more importantly it is right by the stadium so i can leave the stadium and just walk over to this place just to check on the animals to check they're okay and footballers they love animals don't they I'll, I'll get them to bring all their animals here to groom them so i'm sure we'll make millions from that but anyway back to football manager and game number two game number two indeed aruka i think we're going to smash them today i'm going to take out all that paint up aggression from that terrible loss against porto and batter these indeed we're in fourth it's half three kickoff. Let's get into it. So the team's in place and the tactic has changed only because I want to try and sort out these stupid wingbacks. Clearly they don't work in that complete wingback attack role. Drop them back. One on support, one on attack. What are we going to do with Amaro, okay? He can play kind of in this row. Actually, he can play there very well. And you know what? As an anchor, that'd be perfect. So instead of having a flat back three, we're going to have a flat back two with that anchor kind of dropping back in between. So on paper, it should still be a three at the back, but those wing backs might get sorted. And I've made the centre backs to sit a bit wider to hopefully accommodate for him. That extra man in midfield is going to be a Carolero, because I've never used one, so why not? To shuttle across, Mizala shuttle across. I want to try and create overloads either side of Oshina behind Stupid Nan and Hercules, who again, we love dearly. Let's just see what happens. I think it might do okay on paper, but it might do terrible also. Right, game's in the way. We are in the white kits. They're in the yellow kits. And that's not fun, is it? Aruka are 1-0 up within a minute. And Thales, Thales, scores a worldly. And Maral puts the ball. And we clear it well with Almeida. And Oliquiz hits it from... Oh, my God. This has not been a good episode. Boys, 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 you're sat on each other's toes like nincompoops. Let's get a goal, please. And I demand a bit more, and I do demand a bit more. Okay, highlight, 11 minutes in, and our keeper who is, I swear to God, on pass, very gently and softly to the centre-backs, just hates the ball and kicks it with all his might. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell him now. I'm going to sell my goalkeeper on the pitch. He's stupid, he is. Go on, score. Oh, right, keeper, what are you doing? Let's have a look. Okay, I've shifted him up to a sweeper keeper to see if that makes any difference. It probably won't. He'll probably just kick the ball even harder, but off the pitch. Here we go. Rashino, great swing. It's gone wide. It's gone wide indeed. Half hour mark. Bruno Gaspar mops it up. Thiago Silva back to Amaro. Almeida. We've got loads of options for dinky, dinky, sexy little passing, but I want a goal. Rashina, Thiago, stupid Nan, out to Gaspar. Get in the box there. Look at them. They just stood still. There's no movement. Hercules, there's the movement. Come on! Rely on the 18-year-old boy. He's not 17, he's 18. It he, he was his birthday this week. We had a mad night out in Guamaros. He got messed up, he did. I don't want to talk anymore about it. But he's, he's turned up today and he scored a good goal. Amaro, where's the movement? Here it is. Hercules, give it, your, give it back to me. Come on! I love him. I love him dearly. Another highlight, 33 minutes. And it's Aruka coming forward. Amaral, I feel they're going to snap him now. Or I might snap them. Good win. Stupid man. Hercules, run, son. Run. Oh, I see. Compose, mate. Back to Thiago. Gaspar. The tables are turning. The shape is quite nice here. Lacking a massive bit of space out here. My wing back is right up there. Almeida. Lovely touch. Oh, Almeida. Come on. 2-1. What a goal. What a sexy little composed goal. Get in there. Amaro. 
Hercules goes back to Silva, runners off the ball, Almeida and the Mazzala roll. Oh, delicious. And with that, that's going to be half time. 2 1. We turned that around really nicely. In terms of the stats, pretty average. I'd still like to be doing a lot better. And when you look at our midfield, it's really bad. Our. Beat, look, explain this to me, right? Seriously, now, if you've got a midfield, right, of a Mizala, a Carolero, f fine, they they're going to sit there, the 88 and the 10. Let me let me move my head, right? The 88 and the 10 will sit there. But then the 6 and the 11, that's a shadow striker and an anchor man. And for some reason, they're literally in the middle of the park, just like necking each other. Stop it. You should be like a massive distance between you. But instead, there they are. Lovers will never leave each other's side. Bloody hell, man. I don't have to change their roles, don't I? So instead of an anchor man, maybe we go for a half back, shall we? On defend. And instead of Roshina, I, ju I just think whatever I tell him to do, he's going to do what he wants because I'm not going to give him £13,000 a week. Okay, insta highlight. Let's do it. 3 1, and I'll be very happy. Borovkovic coming forward. Almeida, Roshina, good early play. Jao Ferreira, he's lost it again. Jean Ferreira and me are going to fall out unless you win that header. Borovkovic, like, don't give the ball. Well, well done, well done, well done. He's still running. Hercules back to Almeida. Rashina. Hercules, a burst of pace into Rashina. Oh, he skies it. Okay, wholesale changes. I brought on Alpha, Romeo, Semedo, Ruben Lameras, and Silvio. Silvio right back because play just annoys me and hopefully that bit of fitness will take us through the last 12 minutes although they're coming forwards what a save he just caught that in the middle of the air with his strong beautiful hands right simple pass simple pass please yes oh i love it hercules with a big header to the wrong player no oh for god's sake 2-2 two -two against eruka and you, you play it simple and then he hoofs it long I think I need to go through every single player instruction next and sort it out. I've I've got the shape. I had the shape. I've changed it. And what I should have done is kept the shape and changed the players. Now, look at that mess of the heat map. Crap. I've, I've taken a step backwards. Th this has not been a good episode, people. I've, I've tweaked when I shouldn't have tweaked. I'll hold my hands up. We were on the path to success where the shape was beautiful and now the shape is just an absolute mess look at it oh okay I, i've gone back to this shape and, and i know it's not the shape that we had because roshina was there but if roshina wants to play there maybe i do do that maybe i do do that with a mazala carolero and a advanced playmaker on attack just get forward and see what happens because he should still be playing as a shadow striker he's literally here see this is where the shadow striker plays and then the anchor man was here which just makes no sense at all i'm gonna go back to the shape and i tweak it and then i go through every single player kick them in the face especially the right back and the left back until they listen to what i say kids don't do violence it's, it's not good this is all a joke so that's gonna be one plan between now and the next episode and the other plan is going to be getting through some time i'm thinking like the end of april we'll come back to mop up the season but mainly when we've got a good grasp of where we're going to finish here we are in fourth place as mentioned 41 points forget about the top three they've gone gil vicente aren't going to catch us braga probably are they've already got a game in hand they're two points behind let's assume fifth place is what's going to be the end result which would be a euro cup two qualifying round and that depends on the winner of the portuguese cup and the portuguese cup we got slammed out of today which tells me that there are some big teams left in it and i would be completely wrong viz braga sporting and tind so really sporting and braga i need them to win because they'd finish above us and they would knock another position down if another team below us wins such as tind who are bottom in the semis fair play to the boys they might take our european spot how dare they and before we finish things off for today's episode i should mention a couple of boys have left the club and they are first team players you probably noticed today the two of them have gone rafa suarez arguably the best player of the club he's gone to Shakhtar for one million pound he wanted to leave he would not sign a new contract they came in with one million i thought you know what 
I'm going to have to take the money. Like I say, we're doing this frugal. I've got to buy dog shampoo. So I had to sell him. One million pound. Look at him as a player. They've got a bargain. Aside from that, there's another kid, Nicolas Janvier. He's going to Toulouse for 550,000 pound. Good player. Didn't really fit my system. And considering we only paid 15,000 pounds, I've literally spent more than that on a car. It was a nice car and I lost a lot of money off it, but it was still a good car. Toulouse... £550,000, I, I haven't spent that on a car. So with those people going out the club, we've made a little bit of money. We're on 3.5. We're making money year in, year out. Even though it says they're going to lose a little, that, that can't be right because that was before my tenure. And the transfer budget is going to creep up to just only 2 and £3 million. Pounds. We're not going to have a lot of money to spend. So I'm still in the market for some freebies, but there's none out there. I, I'm hoping to pick up maybe one or two pre-contract guys, but even those are difficult to buy for this quality they all want a lot of money and i don't want to spend money right now until we're sustainable and we're in europe and we're bringing more money in i'm happy with the team we've got and bringing some of the kids through the youth team and talking of the youth team we're in for a bloody golden generation we've got some decent ones coming through one two five a's five a's goalkeeper dm central mid wingers and strikers the wingers i don't need they can go but a striker central mids and defensive midfielders I'm all over that like a tramp on chips. So let's call it a day there. Episode number four will be coming very soon for pretty much the end of season special. We'll know where we're going to finish. Hopefully we'll have some free transfers lined up for the start of the new season. And I'll introduce you to this golden generation that we've plucked out of thin air. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Link is down below. And I will see you very soon for the next episode of Victory to Victoria. Take care.